Hey folks, welcome back to another Dice Tower Preview. I'm Mark, and today we're taking a look at Defenders of the Realm Legends, which is brought to you by Greater Than Games. It's for one to six players, ages 14 and up, and games generally run about 60 to 120 minutes. Welcome to Defenders of the Realm Legends Edition, a world teetering on the edge of chaos. After years of peace, the kingdom is now under siege by ancient evils. It's up to you and your fellow heroes to save it. This is a cooperative adventure where every move counts and every decision brings the realm closer to salvation or destruction. These dark forces are led by four fearsome bosses, Azos the Accursed, Dinar the Lich Queen, Gree the Goblin King, and the Chilling Dragon, Sapphire the Enduring Cold. Their armies of goblins, skeletons, imps, and cultists sweep across this land, spreading destruction as they march toward Monarch City, the heart of the kingdom. Defeating these bosses is your ultimate goal, but getting to them won't be easy. In Defenders of the Realm, gameplay unfolds over a series of phases, dark, dawn, day, and dusk. Each phase represents a critical moment in the hero's fight for survival. In the dark phase, the game strikes first. Enemies advance, spreading across the map. Minions flood key locations, and the bosses move closer to Monarch City, triggering their unique effects to keep the heroes on edge. Azos adds curses to the land, while Greed brings in more goblins and coins with every turn, amassing his forces. Darkness spreads across the land, and as the shadow grows, so does the threat of losing everything. As dawn breaks, your heroes prepare for battle. They draw new cards, discard those they don't need, and gear up for the challenges ahead. Each hero has a unique deck filled with abilities that make them a force to be reckoned with. Will you be the Barbarian Pharah, gaining strength as you take damage, or perhaps Kroll, the Arcane Mage, who can teleport across the battlefield and cast devastating spells? Choose your hero wisely because every skill, every card, matters. The day phase is where the action truly heats up. This is where you'll fight, move, and take on the enemies threatening the realm. You'll need to be strategic, using your cards to move from location to location, clearing out minions, and positioning yourself for the ultimate showdown with one of the game's powerful bosses. The challenge? To attack a boss, you must first clear out all their minions. Only when the battlefield is truly free of their servants can you take on the heart of the real threat. Combat is fast-paced and thrilling. Each card you play could be the difference between victory or defeat. Whether you're wielding a sword, drawing a bow, or casting a spell, you'll roll dice to determine your success in battle, and you know how much I love to roll dice. The bosses, however, are no pushovers. Each one has its own defenses, counterattacks, and special abilities that will keep you on your toes. Azos, for instance, curses the land wherever he walks, while Dianara raises the dead to fight for her. And let's not forget about Sapphire, the ice dragon, whose chilling roar can freeze heroes in their tracks. But be mindful because every hero's action comes at a cost. Every card you play increases the darkness on the board, moving the realm closer to ruin. And when dusk falls, the darkness returns to haunt you. In the dusk phase, the forces of evil grow stronger. The more cards in your discard pile, the more the darkness rises, fueling the enemy's power. Minions multiply, and the bosses continue their relentless march toward Monarch City. When the final tower falls, or if darkness overtakes the land, the kingdom is lost. Victory is achieved when all four bosses are finally defeated. It's a race against time, as the heroes must balance fighting off the minions, clearing curses, and attacking bosses, all while keeping the darkness at bay. Each game session offers a different adventure. The setup is dynamic, with randomized enemy placement and event cards that ensure no two games are ever the same. And for those seeking an even greater challenge, the game includes elite modes for both bosses and minions, ramping up the difficulty for the most experienced players. Defenders of the Realm Legends Edition isn't just a game, it's an epic quest where strategy, teamwork, and a bit of luck will decide the fate of the kingdom. Will you rise to the challenge and lead your heroes to victory, or will the darkness consume the realm, leaving it in ruins? The fate of the kingdom is in your hands, hero. Do you have what it takes to defend the realm? All right, folks, just a reminder once again, this has been a Dice Tower paid preview, and everything you've seen here has been in prototype form, so keep a close eye on the campaign for any changes that still may occur. Now, that said, this is a new version of the game. It is a new coat of paint, new artwork, and I really like this new direction from the old game, but it still maintains that cooperative gameplay that you've known and come to love through Defenders of the Realm, and Richard Lanius and others are some of my favorite designers, so this game definitely plays into a lot of the games 
type of games I really enjoy, I should say. It is a dice chucker, as well as using cards to battle and work together to push the enemies back as you feel at times you're just being overwhelmed. And I love that sense of time and pressure. And this game definitely has that as they move ever closer to the city and try to take out the towers and so forth. So there's a lot of neat things here. It has that kind of RPG in a box feel to it. You have your character, special unique cards, abilities for your characters as you battle against these epic boss level monsters and some new twists in the game too. So lots of neat things about this one. It definitely plays into a lot of the type of games that I enjoy, but folks, ultimately, if it looks like something of interest to you, I'm sure they'd appreciate your support. So I think that's it for me. And until next time, we'll see you at the table. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you like this review or whatever you just watched, wasn't it amazing? Uh, check out our channel, Dice Tower. Uh, we have all kinds of things. We review games, we do top tens, we play games live. It's all about board games, but especially the people who play them. Check out Dice Tower YouTube channel.